in. Hello? Hello? Oh, can you hear us? Sound Yay! is working. Oh, you missed our Mariah Carey dance. Oh, well, it must have been look, looked really weird us <laughs> just dancing and not being able to hear anything. Uh, we were singing to Mariah Carey "Fantasy." Um, so just play that so, and then replay us miming it. Um, we also said that today's "Why Jeopardy" is our hashtag. Um, so everybody tweeted out. If you are new. Welcome. We saw a couple Welcome. new people. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy. We're just going to make sure that everybody can hear us. Can you guys Yay. hear us? Yay! Everyone can hear us. Sorry about Yay. that. <laughs> no. It's this thing that's really difficult to do. Technology. Like, technology. Um, so if you are tuning in, we have, there's two, two ways of, to participate this time. Oh. You can tweet along using the social stream, which I imagine a lot of you are doing on Ustream right now. But we also enabled the chat module. So if nobody has Twitter um, and you still want to be able to participate, you can use the chat module. Um, just click the little chat tab on your on the Ustream page and you'll be able to chat with everybody and sort of have a real-time conversation with people who are watching. Upgrades! Upgrades! So, um, hello. We'll just tweet a little hello so you guys can see that we know what we're doing. Hello. Kind of. Yay. Ustream user. Oh, apparently we're not logged in. Cool. Oof. There we go. Anyway, as hello. As not James Rollins. <laughs> as long as it's not James Rollins. We tweeted from James Rollins once using yeah. Ustream. Our very first Ustream, I think, we tweeted from James Rollins. Saying that we were going to be at Comic-Con. <laughs> Sorry, James Rollins. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, so, cheers, guys. Cheers, Basically, guys. we get together every week if you're new. We drink tea. We talk about books, specifically yeah. YA, and other things that strike our fancy, like and Veronica Mars, and Doctor Who, and Mariah Carey, and everything in the world. And uh, boys with accents. Boys? Yes. <laughs> yes, we like to talk in accents occasionally. Oh, bullet. Tea kettle. Um, and... Today is an extra special one. Today is an extra special one. We do we've done this only once before, but mm -hmm. why Jeopardy? It's sort of like just a fun way to play a little game. Um, and there's going to be a giveaway, which I'll show you guys before we start why Jeopardy. But first, what are you reading? <gasps> what are you reading? Tweet at us, Tell and us. we'll see if we can respond. Okay. Whoa! Oh no! I have tea explosions <laughs> everywhere. Are you okay? I just spilled tea all over Snarkles. Oh no! Did it get on the technological? No, just okay. Snarkles. Snarkles is our hedgehog overlord, in case you guys don't know You who guys, he is. I missed last week, and now I'm all shaky. Aubrey, I up. missed you. We've got little mini Snarkles to make up for it. I will give Snarkles a bath. Okay, so tell us first, Okay, what are you reading? I am reading... Show us. Rebo by Amy Tintera. Do, 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 do. Can I just... I just... I'm gonna do this. You started that a while ago, but you're just you're getting close to the end, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You've been like this is one of the books that she's been like dual slow, reading, but you've been like slowly devouring because yes. you're like I want to stretch it out. Yes, I loves it. I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm just gonna this, mm -hmm. just a little mm -hmm. little jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're standing today. That's a new one, mm -hmm. so I can um, move around. I love it. Reader comes out May 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 seventh. So soon, very soon, and you guys should. Um, super pick this up. It is a, well, okay. we'll let, go online and check it out and see what, it's hard to describe. Thriller. It's a thriller. Yeah, Sci-fi thriller. It's so good. Amy Sotera, thank you. Uh, Reader of Fiction says that she's reading, um, reboots. Re Reader Adventure says she's reading Starcrossed. Oh my god, Deb's Bookshelf is reading The Elite. <gasps> 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 Everything is going, um, somebody just finished The Boy Recession, It's a Book Life. Um, so yeah, lots of good things. Somebody's reading Defiance. Lipstick and Lit is reading Defiance by CJ Redwine. Awesome sauce. Um, um, I have decided, I just finished a book last night, so I need a new one. So my new read is the, um, new release this week, The Shadow Girl by Jennifer Archer. Yes. Twins! Twins and creepy twins, tr creepiness, that's what I've heard. Um, Jennifer Archer actually just wrote us a blog post on the eight creepiest twins in pop culture. Mm -hmm. It's up on the Epic Reads blog. You are spilling everywhere. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Sorry. This is... <laughs> um, this is why I can't have nice things. So this is out, this is new, it's in paperback, which is a great, you know, um... I love it when books only come out in paperback because, first of all, it's, like, already to go for the summer. 
and I don't have to wait a year for it to come out in paperback. So it's already out in paperback. So woo, this is new. She um, she also wrote Through Her Eyes. Has anybody read Through Her Eyes? Has anybody read The Shadow Girl yet? Um, we're checking in here with everybody. Uh, I just also, I can't keep up with the thing. Yeah, I know. Somebody just asked, really what fast. did you just finish? Um, what did I just finish? I just finished... Um, the Fifth Wave, it's actually not a Harper book, but The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Yeah, you loved it. <laughs> Aliens take over and it happens in Cincinnati where I'm from. What's up? Anyway, yeah. Uh, Storm, Stormy C says, love the cre creepy twins blog post. Yeah, right? There's yes. a lot of creepy twins out there. Not that twins are creepy, but there are, I feel like it's twins something. lend themselves to be creepy in pop culture. Which well, is, it's when you don't understand something. <laughs> right. I mean, right. there's a couple of twins in our office, and every time like we have a like, hangout, I'm yeah. like, so what is it like? like oh, with being a twins? Like, yeah. Hey, do you have a secret language? Yeah, when they get hurt, can you tell? <laughs> um, Some of them say yes, by the way. Like, great. they have an idea that something is wrong with the other person and they'll come home and be like, I had the worst day ever. Is anybody here watching a twin? Want to share with us? We'll do a twin, shimmy for twins. Twin, twin shimmy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, makeshift Jen says, the shadow girl looks like a good put it in the freezer book. What does that mean? Put it in the freezer. Like save for save? later? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, when you're scared of it. That's a Friends reference. I got it. I got it. <laughs> My brain went there. I Which, haven't watched Friends. I know. What? Slap, slap from the internet. When they were, they did a book swap, and when they were afraid of what was going to happen in the book, they put it in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. Okay. All right. Put it in the freezer book. That's a good way to let's do it. Okay. Uh, so let's get to the sauce. That is, I am falling up. I just the hit sauce. myself in the face with my necklace. Take a moment. Take a moment. Everybody take a moment. We'll check in here. Um, this is what happens when I go a week without you. <laughs> she's about, she's going to be gone next week too. She's going on another vacation. Darn you. Family reunion. Um, so. I've got a, I just loaded up my Kindle like nobody's business. But next week is the elite week, so it's okay. Well, sad that you're not going to be with I'm us. I'm going to wear fancy we'll dresses and still put, there send pictures. There you go. Um, so. There's going how why Jeopardy is going to work today as it did last time is that there are four categories, six questions in each category, and we will again our technology is a little bit behind here. So whoever we see tweet first the correct response, not who actually tweets it first, but whoever we happen to see first because our phones and things are slow. Um, maybe because I spilled tea on them. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, Crystal says I haven't watched Friends or read Harry Potter. I have seen some Friends, and I have started Harry Potter, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, so how it works, and whoever responds first that we see wins and will be one of the winners at the end that you will get. There will be 24 it's winners a total. Pack. Well, it's not a pack, actually. Oh. It's You will win one of the following arcs. The Dead, si Dead Silence by Kimberly Durding, which is the final book in this series, by in the Body Finder series. The Elite by Kiara Cass, or you will win How Zoe Made Her Dreams Mostly Come True by Sarah Strohmeyer. This is not the final cover, the new cover. It got redesigned, but it's still the same words, still the same awesome book. So 24 of you will win one of the following, and one of you will win all of them. So let's, let's jump in here. Th let's get this show on the road. All right. Somebody asked how, how were the questions... Um, based on, they're all based on YA books. Yeah. Um, so let's go through the categories and I'll give you a little more idea. I know you probably can't see these tiny things, right. but we'll, 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 you know. Yeah. So we've got, go ahead. Coming soon. Mm-hmm. Books to screen. Yeah. That means adaptations to the screens Movies. or TVs. Um, ships, as in relationships. Ships we love. Ships, ships. And new releases, which is... You know. And the new releases, ships, and coming soon are all Harper Teen books, so that should help help narrow, narrow the in. field down. Whereas the books to screen is a little more up in the air. So, um, <laughs> Crystal just said, "I get so competitive during YA Jeopardy. I am so ready. <laughs> <laughs> I get real competitive during games that shouldn't be competitive, like yes. Jeopardy. Well, Jeopardy's competitive. Pictionary." That's also competitive. Uh, I went on a first date and we did Pictionary once and I was so violent and cursed at him because he didn't get my, like I get really <laughs> bad. 
That's a good. So that's a good thing why I'm not. That's playing. a good first date. Yeah. <laughs> Snarkles approves. Oh, mm-hmm. he's all wet with tea. I um, know. I have to give him a bath. <laughs> all right. Many snarkles it is for the rest of the time. Um, okay, so let's get started. We pick a category and a number, one through six. So coming soon, books to screen, ships, and new releases. Um, and we will get started. So whoever. Gabby just says, uh oh, that's a scary first date right there. Yeah. Don't ever play games with me, basically. (laughs) Let me just be the host of the game. Um, Do, 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 do. Ships. One. Cupcake Girly. Cupcake Girly requested ships number one. We didn't get music for that. Okay, here's how it goes I'm going to give you the name of the ship, so the couple, and then you have to tell me what book they are from. Okay, here we go. Ships. Anna and Caden. Do, 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 what are they from? Do, 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 Anna and Caden. That's the couple named the book. Do, 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 okay, try to find it on the thing so we can hear it. So we'll... Oh, Sarah, Forever 17 Books says Sweet Evil. Correct! Correct! Um, let's see, I've got a copy of it. Well, I've got the copy of the sequel, Sweet Peril by Wendy yeah. Higgins. We've heard that the couple in this, the ship in this, is super sexy. Yeah. That Caden is super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Um, mm-hmm. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. All right. Now. Next. Next. That's how it works. That's yep. it. That's it. That's it. You won. You won. Who 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 won that one? Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. Sarah, forever 17 bucks. Oh, cool. Sweet sauce. Congratulations, Sarah. You just won yourself an arc. Um, okay, so somebody pick another one. You want to read off the... We have coming soon, books to screen, ships, or new releases. Which one? Oh my god, so many of you got Sweet Evil correct, and it's just coming through. Congratulations. Oh, you guys all know Sweet Evil. That's awesome. Yay. Do we all love Sweet Evil? I'm pretty sure everybody loves Sweet Evil. Oh, I got, uh, I need some tea. Allison at Bookish Feminist says, screen number one. Books to screen number one. I'm gonna put down my iPad since I can't hold two things at once today, apparently. <gasps> Boom! This is a daily double. You don't need to show that. I can't show <laughs> Daily okay. double, what is it? Oh, uh, we um we have two different types of daily doubles, and this is one of the first ones. It's a Pictionary daily double. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to I'm not gonna get violent. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is um Aubrey's going to draw the cover of this book and you have to guess the book. Okay? Okay? Alright. Okay. I, I can draw see. big, like draw big so everybody can see. Bigger than that. No, okay, that, I, that sounds good. Can you guys see that? Okay. It's checking in. Woo, come on, catch up. Okay, guys, guess the book. Let's see if we can, let's bring it closer. Oh! Rachel Patrick at Rachel Ray guest reboot. Yeah! Correct. <laughs> Correct. You want to show them? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad it was right there for my comparison. You can't really see. Here. Can we? That's pretty, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's reboot. <laughs> <laughs> that's reboot. That's a good one. All right. Congratulations, Rachel. Um, and the reference to this, 178 is how many minutes she was dead before she rebooted. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, which makes her B.A. Just saying. B.A. Super you always BA. say that, and I never, I'm like, Bachelor of Arts? What? I'm trying to. It means badass. It means badass. All right. It means badass. We got, we have more categories, more numbers. Let's pick one. Pick one. Oh, you guys all got reboot. Yay. Aubrey Yay! is a terrible at drawing. <laughs> Yay, Aubrey. Before this, when we were testing drawing skills, I drew Harry Potter getting a Quidditch ball, and Margot just laughed. <laughs> she just laughed and laughed at me. Um, Let's see. Let's make sure that we're still online here. Somebody said that it was off. Okay, we're still good. We're good. Okay. Um, I got uh, Jen, Genuine Cupcake, or Cupcake Girly. Oh, no, we have already... We've already, we've already shouted you out, Cupcake Girl. Let's we get, get someone new. Fangirl Squared at Dana Square says, Why Jeopardy? New release one. New release number one. You guys one. like going in order. I know. They're all organized. Okay. I'm going to describe this new release. came out recently from Harper Teen, and you have to tell me what book it is. This debut novel was inspired by the J.C. Duggard and Elizabeth Smart cases. Can you tell us... Please don't hurt their ears with your singing. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. Margot 
you're giving me a complex today. No wonder I'm spilling my tea. I'm full of sass today, all right, guys? Full of sass. Oh, Shannon at Shannon Lee said, pretty girl 13. Yay! That's going to hurt your ears. Um... Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Coley Book by Liz Coley. Liz Coley Books is her Twitter handle. That's <laughs> Liz Coley wrote Pretty Girl 13. It's out now and it is the Epic Reads Book Club Book of the Month. So if you're looking for something new to read, contemporary based on real life cases, this is a good one. I've been hearing fantastic reviews about this. I book, have too. So um, I just got called out for not knowing that the Quidditch ball was called a golden snitch. I'm See, sorry, this is Harry why Potter we should fans. never make Harry Potter references. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Do you, please don't hate us. <laughs> um, give us a next category. Next nice category. And has anybody read Pretty Girl 13? Want to tell us what they think? Tweet it. Tweet it. Use the show, social stream or the chat. Hello. I see Rose's Book Corner says Jeopardy Books to Screen Number Two. I hope I got a favorited Ready? whoever said that. Okay, everybody. This yeah, this one's hard, and I did not get it okay. originally. Ready? But you Prepare your mind. But hopefully you will. This young actor has acted in three YA-adapted films, Harry Potter, Twilight, and The Mortal Instruments. Can you name the actor? Can you name... I am deep... Pull that IMDb up. No! No IMDbing! <laughs> Do this, you know it from memory? This young actor has acted in three YA adapted films. Sarah M. guessed Robert Pattinson. Incorrect. He was not in the Mortal Instruments. He was a, This actor was in all, all three, three of these movies. Harry Potter, Twilight, and the Mortal Instruments. Heart, Allie at Heart Hearts Book guessed Jamie Campbell. And Jamie Campbell Bauer, but I'll give it to you anyway is correct. Correct. Way to go, Ali. If you want to see more Jamie Camel Bar, you should watch um <laughs> you should watch Camela. It's like a one season show on Stars or Showtime or one of those. It was really good. He was on it and he was cute and adorable. He was cute and we like him. We like him. All, All right. right. Did you did I heart it? Yes. Okay. Oh I did. Yay. We have to heart we have to favorite the winning entries that, that we way we know. Them. Yeah, because there's so many tweets. Okay. What should we do next? We have coming soon, books to screen, ships, and new releases. All right. Watch out, you're blocking. Get out of the way. Jeez. OMG. <laughs> I'm being picked on today. Yes, you are. Um, do more pictures. <laughs> Find more pictures. Search for the Daily Double. There's three more Daily Doubles. Do, 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 Although do. only one of them is another I, Pictionary because we can't draw. <laughs> We're really bad at drawing, so. We only did two um, I see... Z says, new releases three at YA Jeopardy. I don't know how to say your last name. Oh, I And I don't want to butcher it. K-A-H-I-M-K-A-R. <laughs> sure, just spell out the name. I there just... we go. <laughs> All right. You got to name this new release, new Harpertine release. In this book, the main character discovers that she can move objects with her mind. What book is that? It just came out. If you guys need another clue, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're going to check and tweet it. Mm -hmm. You don't get another clue. Okay, fine. No more, no more You clues. get a snarky remark from Alex Trebek. If you oh, don't. Abigail Johnson said Pulse. Yay! Correct, Correct, Abigail. Pulse by Patrick Carmen. It's all about telekinesis and a future, future world that's set in 2051, so not that far off. You guys should all be alive during that. A lot of people are tweeting Mind Games. Mind Games by Kirsten White is uh, about a girl that kind of, like has the awesome intuition. Intuition. So she knows the right way to the, the right thing to choose every single time. Tea break. What are you guys drinking? I'm drinking chamomile. What are you drinking chamomile tea? Yeah. I'm having some Irish breakfast in honor of our uh, Irish friends who are watching. Apparently, there are some people watching oh. all the way from Ireland. So. I don't know how you say greetings over there in Gaelic, but hello. Hello. From New York. <laughs> um, all right, so now we need another category, guys. Pick pick one. I, uh, Megan said ships number three. It's all me. Or you. Name the book. Uh, that find Sam and Anna. Sam and Anna doing kissy faces. What book features the couple Sam and Anna? Cuddling. Cuddling. And Kirsten. 
and hugging, playing instruments together. Come on! Oh, I'm just it's just a little, just a little hint. Just, just making it hint. too easy. <laughs> I don't want them to be struggling. I want them to win at life. <laughs> We're snarkles. Ooh, somebody had mandarin green tea. Ooh, Counting the delicious. ways. Uh, that sounds delicious. My Twitter is broken. <laughs> you broke my Twitters. Um, oh, Brad at the book, YA book review says incarnate. Correct. Correct. We would have accepted incarnate or the sequel, A Sunder by Jody Meadows. Oh. Sam and Anna, awesome couple. Super, super awesome couple. Does anybody else ship Sam and Anna as much as we ship them? Tweet at us. And in the meantime, pick a new category. We've got all of coming soon to go through. Come on. Three through six for books to screen. Two, four, five, six for ships. Two, four, five, six for new releases. You guys are going in like some sort of weird order. I like it. Move around the board. Let's move around the board. Bum, 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 ah, bum, ah, bum, ah, bum, We will bum, dance bum, in the meantime. Bum, bum, bum. A lot of people got incarnate. I liked Incarnate a lot. I know you did. There's this whole ball scene in it where everybody gets dressed up. I just like <gasps> scenes where people get really dressed up and there's like the makeover scene or whatever and she's wearing this like butterfly mask that... Makeover scenes are fantastic. Right? They are yeah. fantastic. Um, la, la, la. A lot of people said um, Anna and the French Kiss. No, Anna and the French Kiss, her ship is Anna and ATN or St. Clair. Just St. Clair. Just a heads up. St. Clair, he has a British accent. Tea kettles. I need to learn a new something to say other than tea kettle. Um, biscuit. Hello, governor. <laughs> um, oh, Chris says, coming soon, number five. Whoa, I like it. I like when you bounce around. It's strategy. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. All right, ready? Yes. This is the description. You tell us the book. This is for a book that's coming soon from Harper Teen. A powerful novel about five teens who struggle with friendship and self-identity are the subject of a documentary film series. A powerful novel about five teens who struggles with friendship and self-identity are the subject of a documentary film series. Could you imagine having like your whole life being on like a reality TV show? I feel like that wouldn't be real life. I feel like it would just be fake. Like you'd just well, be living they are, a fake like, life. They are fake. Fake um. for entertainment. <laughs> um, Ashley R at Italy Love 19 says, you look different in real life. That is correct by Jennifer Castle. This is, uh, this goes on sale June 4th. It's very high on my to read list. Jennifer Castle wrote the beginning of After, which I love. Which is awesome. Yes. She writes amazing contemporary standalones. Yes. So if you're looking for a new author to love, go check out Jennifer Castle. And this one goes on. And the premise of this sounds so fantastic. And sort of and very relevant to today. Yeah. I think. What about you? What do you guys think? Has anybody read this yet? Been lucky to get a, their hands on an arc? Um, and we got more categories, so let us know. Did you favorite it? Or did I? I didn't. I didn't. I'm, not, I'm not reading. You're, you're in charge of picking the, the winners. Um, Jessica Jackson at Golden Fur Pro says, coming soon, number six. Do, 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 do. Well, snap. Oh. Finger snap. Oh. Daily double. Do, 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 um, well, it's a Pictionary. Pictionary. My turn to draw. I apologize in advance. Oops. I go off screen. Unless you want to draw. Do you want to draw? Not this one. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I draw sticks. Okay. Well, I'll do this. It sort of helps get it across. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Again, she's dropping the hints. Oh, goodness. Um, how do I... Hmm. Can you guys see? Pretend that's a... What? Oh, boy. <laughs> um, woohoo! She's got hair. She's you gotta check to see if people are guessing oh, it, so I don't have to keep no, drawing. Okay, so okay. that's... Um, well, I'm sure that they got it from a girl. Okay, that's a girl in a pretty dress. Erica says the boyfriend app, no. No. And here's that. Do you keep going? Well, wait, but look what he gets. Oh. Oh, no, this, oh. Is, this is gonna look like... Is she? Did she tweet one already? No. Katie! Got the selection. Favored it. I'm favoriting you. Um, if you didn't see, because Aubrey's blocking it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's America and Prince Maxon with no face. 
Yay! <laughs> Katie at Katie Stutz, just to clarify, I feel like. Congratulations. Congratulations. The selection. Yay. Woohoo! That's the best Prince Maxon I've ever seen. There, now he has a face. Ha <laughs> ha! Katie, you are also the proud owner of this drawing, should you want it. <laughs> um, yay! Yay! If I could tap dance, this would be me, my book tap dance for you all. Um, yay! Okay, so now we have. More categories to go. Mm -hmm. Coming soon, number two. Our thoughts precisely. Boop. Guess the book. This book returns to the Grimm Brothers' darker roots with a modern reimagining of a mermaid myth. Which uh, you read. I have read and I loved it. We got to meet this author. This author was cool. He might come hang out with us. Shh. Ooh. Oh, she gave a clue. It's a I'm male. not repeat. I, oh, well, it's a male author. This book returns to the oh, group. Jamie Arnold at Arnold Jamie 13 guest September Girls mm -hmm, by mm -hmm, Bennett Madison. Mm -hmm, when does it come on sale? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Goes on sale May, May 21st. 21st. Woohoo! Woo I loved this book. Next it's, category while we discuss it mermaids. Is, it's uh, well, but it's contemporary. It's not paranormal mermaids, right? No, no. no. It's beautiful. I'm all wrong. It's beautifully written. It is contemporary. All right. Um, there's just something um, mythical about it. Cassie, I love it. I love it. Cassie Fry says coming soon, number one. Oh. Okay, ready? Yes. From a debut author. Oh, I was doing it from Ken's voice. Oh. From a debut author, this post-apocalyptic YA is set in the near future, where Earth has been overrun by vicious predator creatures and one girl must survive against all odds. Um, second clue, we both read this and are obsessed. That's oh, what we get. yeah. I'm just give them little clues. Little clues. Little clues. Do, 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 do. From a debut author, this post apocalyptic YA is set in the near future where Earth has been overrun by vicious predatory creatures and one girl must survive against all odds. Gabby at LB Reed says, I don't understand uh, Ken's pants. They're tights, we learned. He's a ballet dancer. See, look. He's got a very good... He's yeah. a ballet dancer. Ooh, that was a little close-up there on Ken. <laughs> uh, um, any guesses? Any guesses what this book was, is? It it's is, coming soon. It's, it's coming, coming soon. It's coming soon. And I just also saw that the author tweeted that she's hosting a giveaway of this book right now. Oh. Kristen at Millie D's Word says, In the After by Demetria Lunetta, you would be correct. Oh, boom. This book comes out June 25th, and we both read it, and it's awesome sauce. Uh, the lead character is awesome, and definitely made me realize that if there is any sort of alien attack, I will die, because I cannot <laughs> think for myself like she does. <laughs> uh, pick another category. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys, um, wow, lots of guesses for that one. Mm -hmm. Icons, mm -hmm. unnatural creatures. Um, ships number six. Sarah guessed once ships number six. Unnatural creatures is a collection of stories, just to clear. Which is coming soon by Neil Gaiman. Okay, ships number six. Oh, daily double. <laughs> okay, no more picture. That's the sound it makes on Jeopardy. Oh boy, my ears. Okay. Oh God, please no. <laughs> uh, we have an international cover of one of our most popular books. You have to guess the book based on the international cover. This is the French version. Are so you, if you know are French, you done? Are we done. Can you guys guess this book? I was not. I did not expect this at all when I saw this cover. Oh, I'm so far behind. I think in French it means literally, oh no, wait, that'll give a clue. Yeah. So if anybody reads French, you'll know, you'll, that's a clue. <laughs> um, but that's not the actual oh, name This of the is title. throwing people off. It is throwing You've people got some off. Elite is not it. Spellcaster is not it. Until I Die is not it. The Mask of the Red Death is not it. Oh, T and Text, Shatter Me by Tahir Mafi. Right. That is correct. I had to block out Tahir Mafi's name up here, but. Yep, that is the French version of ta of Shatter Me. And it's called Do Not Touch Me. Yep. Don't touch me, girl! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Um, I feel like that's a song. Is it a song? All right, we have another category. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. 
All right, tweet us your categories, <laughs> or that will continue. <laughs> oh man, I could do MC Hammer forever. <laughs> We can talk about um, why is just uh, Justin Bieber wearing MC Hammer pants all the time, right? Because they're awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I would wear MC Par M MC Hammer pants if my off if the office would let me. They're so roomy and big, and I feel like I could eat a lot of cookies, and the waist would expand you comfortably. Know what? I allow you. <laughs> okay. So begin, please. Perhaps I'll wear some MC Hammer pants during <laughs> and the next tea time. Um, we have some more categories to go. So we have coming soon, books to screen, ships. New releases. Oh, the the thing is going really slow, so we'll we'll just pick one. Okay, let's do books. To we gotta get four. it going. Ready? Books to screen. Harrison Ford is starring as Colonel Harum Graff in this upcoming YA adapted movie. What movie will Han Solo be in? Coming mm -hmm. out soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know? Oh, Amanda Bell. Ooh. Ender's Game. Quick. Boom. Ender's Game, that's coming out in November, and Harry Ford is in it. I love him, Indy. So we're gonna pick another one. Um, I'm gonna go with new releases number five. Oh, oh the other, the final, Daily Double. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I did it when she wasn't looking. Oh, I'm gonna punch you. Just kidding, that would be mean. All right, here we go. This is an international cover, the Czech international cover for one of our books. Can you guess it? I love it. Look at what's happening in the photo. It should give you a clue. This one's a tough one. This is a tough one. Unless you've like been obsessively looking at this book. This book came out a while ago. It is not new. It came out a, a few years ago. I'm not sure. 2009, 10, something like that. Um, this is the Czech version. I could give you guys another clue. I'll give you guys another clue for the next round of refresh. refreshing. Nobody it's gets a hard one. It is, is a hard one. Mm -hmm. But it's a cool cover, and I kind of like it a lot. Um, why am Is yours, like, really slow, too? Mine's yes. super slow. La, 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 la. This is the portion where you get to watch us look at devices. And get really bored. <laughs> Let's see if we can check on our computer. Um, I don't see anybody seeing. This one, I think this one is most difficult because it looks like... Oh, a, oh, nope. We already picked that one. Oh, you can't win twice. Can't Sorry. win twice, so we got to pick somebody else. But somebody did guess it. Oh, Book Revels tweeted, Before I Fall. That is correct. Yeah. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. This is the Czech cover. I Isn't love cool? the cover. It looks paranormal to me. It's really cool. She's like, literally looks like she's falling. Yeah. But it's turned the other way, so it's kind of cool. Congratulations. All right, sorry, guys, that we have to start picking these because our Twitter is breaking, and um, we don't have time to... We don't want to waste your Ships. time. Ships. All right. Ships Ready? number five. Tell us what book these lovers are in. Ah, ah. Tucker and Clara. This should be fairly easy. Ah, la, 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 la. Ah, ah. Tucker and Clara. Tucker and Clara. <gasps> you know, it's just giving me disapproving looks all day. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Cassie Fry says unearthly. Correct. Congratulations, you won. Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. Awesome book. Angels. Really amazing ship. All right, I'm going books to screen six. Yep. Shailene Woodley, who is playing Triss in the Divergent movie, has been cast in this other YA adapted movie. She's in this movie, but what other movie was she just cast in? Do you guys know? It's a movie, not a TV show. Oh. Mommy's Reading Break says The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Correct! <laughs> She's in both. She's like the queen of the YA. Yes. That's pretty awesome. I'm My all about I, I like shit. Jen ah. Jennifer, though. Ah. Ah. Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah. Well, she can't be in everything. All right, so let's do... Um, yes, she can. She cannot. New release is number six. Which new post-apocalyptic re release features a race of brutal hermaphroditic... Outcasts. Ooh. Hermaphroditic outcasts. I don't know if I knew this. It's post-apocalyptic. It's a new release from Harper Teen. It has a yellow cover. Know it. Now Got you it. know it. <laughs> oh, Chris Ten Williams said Wasteland by Susan Kim. And Lawrence Clavin. Correct. Wasteland, yellow cover. Hermaphroditic outcasts. People die a lot. 
you know. Why? <laughs> Alrighty, I'm doing Coming Soon, number three. This book features an MC with a mutation that allows her to become invisible, but her dad, a Las Vegas crime lord, forces her to use her power for evil. No, not evil. That sounds really intense. Where is it? Oh, it's down here. Kendall. This is coming soon. So this book features an MC with a mutation that allows her to become invisible, but her dad, a Las Vegas crime lord, forces her to use po her power for evil. Ashley Page guessed what is transparent? And correct. you are correct. Transparent by Natalie Whipple. It goes on sale. May 21st. May 21st. And it's paperback. It's paperback original. Woohoo! So, good summer read. Um, all right, what else have we got? Let's do ships number two. Good job, Ashley Page. We are very proud of you. Ooh. <laughs> I ship this couple very hard. They're my OT, OTP, my one true pairing. Hector and Elisa. I hope you guys get it. <laughs> ah, but here's the trick. It's not Hec Hector and Elisa aren't in. You have to name the actual book that where they get together. Because it's not in, it's, a, it's part of a trilogy. So can you get it? Can you get it? Oh, somebody got it, but. They already won, so we can't pick them. Tara at Hobbit's Ice, The Crown of Embers uh, by Ray Carson. Uh, that is correct. That was that was Little Snarkle saying, uh, you uh, are correct. Uh, that is my favorite couple. I love them. Doo -doo -doo. Next. Uh, books to screen three. Yeah. Are we back up? Can we get people to submit or no? Yeah. Uh, who is playing Janine Matthews, leader of the Erudite faction in the Divergent movie? You guys should know this because it's an awesome casting. Oh. Yes, yes. It's the one I freaked out about the most. <laughs> I think there's video evidence of that. So who is playing Janine Matthews in the Divergent movie, guys? Oh, Melissa Giorgio said Kate Winslet. <sighs> Hello, Kate. Thank you for joining us for tea time. Mwah. I love her. I love her. I'm so stoked that she's in this movie. I am too. I think, oh, we've talked about it a lot, but it's pretty awesome that she's in it. Yeah. Yay, Kate Winslet. I'm excited to see her be uh, a little nasty. New releases number two. We're down to the wire here, guys. This adorable standalone is a modern retelling of Mansfield Park. Have you read Mansfield Park or seen the movie? I've seen the movie. Did you like the movie? <laughs> I liked Mansfield Park because I like... The sort of, you know, the Pride and Prejudice and yeah. Emma and Jane Eyre, and I like those That's stories. a little tougher sell for me for some reason. Well, you're a fan of, you're a fan of the dystopian and the sci-fi stuff. Yes, so yes, yes. It's understandable. We can't all be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Jane Austen fans don't hate me. But if you, if anyone was as close to perfect, it would be you. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Um, so what book, what new release, or book that's coming out soon, or no, new release, oh, so mixed up, what new release is a retelling of Mansfield Park? Do you guys know? You broke Twitter again, congratulations. We like it. We like Twitter breaking. I think we did too many categories. Did we do too many categories? You guys have to tell us. I think we did us. no more, there was four. Right. Let us know. Let us know, because we want to know, we want to do this better next time. It's also, like, me standing is, like, all I want to do is dance. I'm that kind of person. <laughs> so it's All just I want to do is dance. Okay, what is that from? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. Oh, we got some. We got. I saw the answer. I saw right. Oh, but I gotta be screen. able to favorite it. Oh, um, huh? Refresh. The trouble with flirting. Correct. X. I'm probably gonna butcher your your Twitter handle. X Bahabani. Bahabani. Yeah. Bonnie, I hope I didn't butcher You're really your cute. I just you are cute. cute. We so like your cute. Twitter profile. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. The Trouble with Flirting by Claire Lozebnik. It is out now. Paperback original. Super cute. Really like a great beach read or yeah. spring read. Just a good one. Or a uh, music festival read. Festival reads, yes. All right. Uh, I'm going to do Ships number four. All right. Name the, name the book, guys. <gasps> Ariane Perry. Ariane Perry. You guys should definitely get this very quickly. Um, we had a big discussion about 
uh, this book today, and I just got real excited. It's me, Lori, says, oh, oh, boy. Good, goodness. Well, you're there somewhere. Is our thing just refreshed. Oh, there it is. Under the Never Sky, or you could have said Through the Evernight. Either would have been accepted. Perry's Berries. Look at that shirt. Mm -mm -mm. We love them. Okay, uh, coming soon. Yep, number four. First in a trilogy, this debut is about teens pulled in and out of an alternate reality where battling aliens is more than a game. It's life or death. Hmm. Okay. I'm excited for this one. Mm -hmm. I like aliens. I like anything with aliens. Aliens. Ready? Um, First ready. in a trilogy, this debut is about a teen teens pulled in and out of an alternate reality where battling aliens is more than a game. Forever 17 books guest Rush. Oh, she's won. Oh, you won? She okay. was our first winner. Oh, there we go. Um, Liasha91, Rush. Yeah! Congratulations. Do, 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 if we double picked people, we're sorry. But Rush by Eve Silver. Oh, look how cool that cover is. When is this one going to sale? June 11th. Um, there's kendo fighting in this book. Yeah. Which is Japanese sword fighting. Oh, so excited for that. <laughs> the nerd in me gets really excited. Um, we have got to do one. We got two more left. New releases, number four. Name, oh, this is a hard one. Name this. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Name the six books in the Gone series in order of publication. So obviously, Gone is the first one. We'll give you that. So, can you name all six of the Gone books in order? Just thinking. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Do we know? Oh, it's a lot of typing. Gone. Sophisticated. Yes, Katie. 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 Gone. I like her Twitter handle. Gone, Hunger, Lies, Plague, Fear, and Light. If, if you're a fan of the series, it's really uh, kind of easy to do because those are the major problems that are happening. Like, right. Everyone is all gone. All the parents went gone. Then there's there, no food. There's no food. <laughs> but we won't tell any anything else. But congratulations. All right, last one. Ooh, books to screen number five. <clears throat> yes. What new release is being made into a TV show with the producer of Grey's Anatomy and Scandal. Does anybody watch Scandal? I'm sorry. I talk about Scandal whenever I can. I love that show. It it's so good. What new release is being made into a TV show with the producer of Grey's Anatomy and Scandal? I'm going to watch this show. Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch the hell out of this show. Because um, I thoroughly enjoyed the book. It is not Delirium. Just letting you guys know, it is not to learn. Tamara 216, Mila 2.0. Congratulations, that is correct. I am real excited to we, see this on screen. We read this book and we loved it. And I just think it'll be so much, oh, it'll be so good yeah. on, as a TV show. Yes. So much action. And knowing Shonda Rhimes, there's going to be a lot of steamy romance. Yeah, at the end of this book just was like, I need more, I need more. And... I don't want to wait a year, even though I have to. <laughs> Sadness. Well, that's it for YA Jeopardy this time. Join us next week because we will be doing an elite week where perhaps I'll be wearing a ball gown. Perhaps it'll be the one from the, the elite cover. Perhaps I will maybe fit into it. Probably not, though. So join us for elite awesomeness um, next week. And Feel free to dress up in your finest gowns yes. and tweet us pictures when you're watching so we can all be elite together. And everyone needs an excuse to pull out that gown from their right? closet. That put prom it on. dress or bridesmaid's dress. Or put it just, on and tweet us the picture. Yeah. Find another, this is another excuse to wear it. So, you know, you got to suit Maxon. <laughs> So, um, just a reminder, we will tweet all of the winners. Um, we will send them DMs, so make sure you're following us. Um, but you guys will be winning one of the following. So, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.